Cooking outdoors took on a whole new meaning for me after watching members of the Auglaize County Historical Society pull together a dinner for eight using methods, ingredients, and recipes from the 1840s. That's around the time that the northward expanding Miami and Erie Canal hit communities like St. Mary's, just west of Wapakoneta, where the event was held at the Gary Log Cabin at the Auglaize County Fairgrounds. Brandy Pissick, seen here explaining how sweet potatoes were roasted in a coal pit, said the canal brought landlocked northwestern Ohio settlers ingredients they couldn't grow themselves, such as nutmeg and cinnamon, which flavored a pot of applesauce. Participants helped make the meal by chopping cucumber for a salad made with sour cream and fresh herbs. The main course was pork loin, roasted in a Dutch oven that Pissick had covered with glowing coals. She used the coals from a wood fire she and her colleagues built at 10 the morning of the event. Kim Klopfleisch from New Knoxville helped churn the butter that was to flavor those sweet potatoes. The Historical Society's Andrea Burton said butter churning was typically a child's chore, requiring a lot of youthful energy to power through the paste phase. That's when the butter solids are starting to separate from the agitated cream. She used a quart of cream to get one pound of butter. Waist-high churns were used to produce more butter in one churning. This is the third historical meal hosted by the Society. Attendees said they loved the different flavors produced from cooking over coals and cast iron pots. To find out about other Historical Society events, go to auglaizecountyhistory.org. Reporting for the Lima News, I'm Amy Eddings.